getting big. And I mean, I'll come out here from time to time and, you know, commune, give of myself, um, feed uh, plants with prana, with uh, my uniqueness in the form of uh, the orin, in the form of uh, the secretions out the soles of the feet into the soil. And then also my breath and my vibration of my voice. All of these things, uh, they feel they attune with and they grow with. And then the nourishment that comes from plants that are engaged like this. It uh, is beyond bodily medicine because it also feeds the soul and the spirit. Thor's mantle, baby. Okay, at first I thought this, I'm pretty sure it's one that I've planted out here. And it keeps regrowing, uh, reseeding, rebirthing, resurrecting. It grows in threes. The stages. So, first I thought it was a nettle, but now I'm not so sure. There's many different types of nettles. They don't all, they don't all sting. <laughs> and there's ways around that, like how, how to touch a stinging nettle so that you don't get those uh, hairs. Just wanted to give a shout out to Zigzag. Whenever you talk about like, I mean, even just, I do this constantly with trees. I mean, it becomes like this whole different kind of uh, perspective. But I mean, uh, doing it from the top down as well, like I've been showing, seeing uh, the spirals both ways, right? It's very, it's very fascinating to watch uh, the ways in which nature grows the patterns. Ah, oh, perfect. That's awesome. In less than a week, so much growth.
my gosh. Feels so good to jog barefoot on some trails again. And I just saw a rabbit. Um, it was pretty long, like, looking. Um, he kept going up on the trail and then going around the bend. And then as I would appear, then he would go to the next. And then he went off to the side um, into the grass and it was completely silent. All my other engagements with rabbits, I always hear them scurry off uh, wherever they go. The grass usually gives them away. But uh, this one was absolutely silent and just gone, nothing. I kept thinking I was going to get a chance to get them on tape. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, uh, in the physical, he really was. Lots of, lots of interesting fauna and flora today. Amazing skies. It's cloudy all day until not too long ago. And the sun came out and yeah, I wanted to share this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but came across some fireflies. Bugs of the light. They just chilling. They ain't bugging no one. Let them be. Just be and uh they won't always just let you be, but sometimes they like to aid us in a little bit of a natural acupuncture. Or maybe helping spread some of the plasma around some of the blood. And also extracting from you things that... Could be causing obstruction from blockages. So, uh, experiment. Try allowing the bugs on your body. And yes, it may, it, it will definitely be a test, a test of your patience, of where you can bring your awareness. This is uh, also a practice, you could say, of meditation, of just focus different levels of focusing the mind. Disengaging from a certain sensation, a certain energy of maybe agitation or annoying uh, or anxiety or anxiousness. But then after you get potentially eaten up and take note, oh, that would be a spider's web. Take, take note upon what your overall uh, sense of feeling is, like uh, health and, and well-being is within the next, uh, I don't know, 24 hours after that. Because for me, in my experience, when I was, have been meditating in nature and allowing um, everything to do what is needed to do. It's 
changing our perspective and perception of mind into something of benefit. And I noticed that I always feel quite a bit better afterwards. After the uh, portals, your skin, some of the blockages have been removed. And then if you continue that process, you may come to find that uh, it gets to be less and less, you have less and less bites. And this also is dependent upon the area that you are in as well. So yeah.